Sup Toy Fans, that's Muggsy, that's Ben, and this is our video of our Sandown Toy Fair pickups. Ooh. Right to all guys, so um, thank you for everyone who came down to Sandown and came and chatted to Ben and his brother Sam who was filling in because I couldn't be there. Looked very bewildered so I do yeah. apologise about that. He had no Poor idea guy. what he was doing but he would said he'd come down and help me out for the day as Muggsy was working. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think he had a good time. We sort of we met some amazing people, we chatted toys with so many people. Um, so we just generally had a really good time and Muggsy missed out unfortunately. Yeah, I did miss out unfortunately. Yeah. But it's okay, because yeah. we've got Toy Fairs coming up and I will be there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna go through some of the stuff that um Benny Boy picked up mm. uh while he was there. So do you well, want there, to start well there was a little bit that we missed out from the last video. Oh there that we was. Up, so we just start with that and show you that quickly. This lovely Futurama piece. So this is part of their builder figure piece. So you can see that big body part there. That goes towards building the Robot Center from uh, the Futurama series. So yeah, that was one of the things that we Ooh! got to put in the other video. That was close. <laughs> Good save though. The reflexes of a cat. I don't know what that was, so I'm going to pan over that. <laughs> right, Sandown. We, um, yeah, so we had a really good day. It was awesome because we haven't done Sandown before. The, um, the Royal We. The Royal We, yes. I, I had, well, I'm talking about me and Sam. Yeah, okay. Other Sam. My Other brother Sam. Sam, rather than this Sam, Muggsy Sam. Do you want to get a picture it's of Sam's face and put it over my face? Yeah. Here's Sam. That'd be very creepy if he ever sees the video. <laughs> <laughs> so to start with, yeah, we we chatted with lo I chatted with loads of people about all sorts of bits. We bumped into the usual uh, the usual crew. Uh, Aaron from uh, Empire 1138. Andy from Andy's Toys and Models. Uh, Tom at Pizarro's Pieces. Darren from Darren's Toy Channel. Um, who sorted us out with some awesome goodies. Thank you very much, dude. I'll tell you what, we might as well start with those. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. One thing that uh, Ben got for me, it's well, probably I, my favourite thing the whole time. Darren did. Oh yeah, Darren, and he I got it from did. Darren. So, cheers Darren. Cheers Ben. This is a 1995 animated series Batmobile bicycle accessory. Because, bosh, water bottle. Water bottle. Pow. I'm going to set that up somewhere and that is going to be I don't think awesome. he's going to be putting water in it though from what he keeps selling me but hey you use it for whatever you want to yeah if you fill it with what you say you're going to I'll probably drink all of it so yeah right cool. next up was a couple of um, Burger King toys for me from Dar uh, Darren uh, a Mikey magnifying glass as you can see which is awesome uh, and Raf, who I believe is sticks to the sticks to your window. No sucker, unfortunately. But Darren did say he was missing. He didn't know what it was, and I only know because I've got a similar one, uh, which looks like a badge, which is uh, stuck to the whiteboard in my office. Hmm. So he's awesome. I'm sure we could find a Thank sucker you for it. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, pun. Yeah. Uh, a an awesome uh, teenage mutant hero turtles dimension escapade. Um, as you saw from one of our other videos, uh, these come with all the sort of um, the cards, and I've got a couple of full sets of these, but the book is complete, all the cards in the book, and whoever did oh, it that's cool. has put them in really, really nicely. Evil dog. Yeah, they weren't stickers, as you can see there's like little um, plastic pocketed corners that they just sort of slip into, save you effort to try and line the stuff up, oh, because yeah. whenever you find these, if they're stickers, mm. people never line them up properly, they're just haphazardly yeah. stuck in. But this was awesome, so it's all complete, and that will be going on one of the many turtle shelves. So yeah, to keeping along the lines of turtles, because Darren obviously knew me and my obsession very well. Not one, not two, not three, but four Teenage Mutant Hero Turtle puzzles. Now, puzzles aren't usually my thing, but the artwork on these is insane. The the um, the quality of the boxes. There's no rubs, no nothing, and they're all complete because he told me he spent many cold hours in the garage <laughs> trying to um, complete these. But they all come with their corresponding posters, A3 versions of the puzzles. Uh, this one is my favourite, so I'm going to be framing this one. 
Uh, and probably I'll frame the puzzle with it because these were awesome. So I'll quickly show you the others. So there was also the turtles in the party wagon with the blimp. Make sure I get that not in the light. You've got the turtles Splinter in April. Unfortunately, they covered Splinter's face. <laughs> Poor Splinter. Yeah. And the four turtles in the sewer. And as I say, they all got their posters. They're all 100% complete. So they were awesome. Thank you, dude. Right, you are. Following on again from the turtles theme, there seems to be a lot of this going on. Yes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you finish off the bits from Darren first. Oh, yeah, what else is from Darren? Oh, was it? Yeah. Didn't even realise. Da, 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 da. A Batman handheld pinball game. 1989. Who made it? I'm not sure. It's from the. Is it was from the film, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's in line with the um, with the 89 movie. Jota Star. Not heard of them before, but I imagine they make sort of handheld games and stuff. There it is. Anyway, yeah, so that is awesome. All in its box. Look at that. So that was cool. That's going to go on the shelf very nicely. Yeah. And as Mugsy said, going back to Turtles, uh, I picked up a few sort of loose figures, one for my collection and a couple of others because I know I've got bits for them. Um, so not, normally I don't pick up a lot of Turtles at, the, at the, the fairs. One, because I don't usually have time to go out and find stuff. And two, because the last few we've been to, we haven't seen a lot of. But, well, the last few I've been to, I should say, um, we've got an almost complete foot soldier. I had all the weapons, so I picked him up. He's just missing his um, arm guards. So if anybody's got spare ones of those, hit us up, because you could help us complete him. We picked up uh, a variant of the original April O'Neil. Uh, I've got accessories for her. She had a, a briefcase uh, and a camera which you slipped the back out of, which became a gun, which was cool. Mm -hmm. We had this one's going straight into my collection because I've wanted this guy for a while and never found him sort of loose. Uh, pizza face with his cleaver, which is awesome. He's in really, really nice condition as well with his, uh, his pizza wheel for a leg. <laughs> That's wicked. We had. As you saw from our Instagram, uh, I picked up one of the Dino Turtles recently, Dino Leo, and um, I can't remember what, it's a Triceratops, but I can't remember what he's called. But, the first thing I picked up, which I was so amazed because I've never seen one of these before, loose, or ever in real life before I picked up the other one, is Cave Leo. And I already had his sword, so I've got a complete one, and now I've got a one with sword, which is awesome. There you go. I he picked is mint. Up, yeah. Uh, I picked up a Fugitoid, and he's awesome. And I've got a couple of his accessories to go with him. Two out of the four. I've got like a, a pincer gun, uh, and a little sort of camera type thing which pops onto his, onto his back. Like so. So that was awesome. I've already got a complete one of these in my collection, but it's always nice to have doubles. Absolutely. Um, that And that was all the turtley bits. Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't. I got two of the Hero Turtles cards from the collector cards, 66 in total, and I think I've got about five of these now. I've just sort of picked them up randomly as we've seen them. Oh, just 61 to go then. Yeah, roughly. <laughs> but they were cool. Uh, on a side purchase, it's still toy-related, roughly. Um... I don't know whether you guys know, or I might have mentioned it before, but skateboarding has been a big part of my life sort of growing up since I was a kid. Um, Muggsy's done a lot of it as well. We used to go skating before we became boring adults. Yeah. Um, and don't want to hurt our hands falling over because they're quite useful in our both of our jobs. Yeah. Um, Santa Cruz have brought out a line of skateboards um, that have crossed over with my favourite toy line of all time. So I had to pick up... One of these. Now I just have to sort of pan up as we go. As you guys can see, Santa Cruz, the turtles. I want to show you how much I paid for it because <laughs> it was probably too much. 
Anyone um, who could be bothered to pause and zoom into there will find out. We'll definitely out. be able to do it, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's all like etched in. These are all sort of like, it's not flat, actual it's grooves. not printed. It's actual grooves for the shell. Uh, each one of the four guys has got the, the red, not the red because it's Raph, obviously being red, my favourite. Uh, Leo's is blue, Mikey's orange, Don's purple, etc, etc. But the, all four of these. So I didn't pick up all four. I've only picked up Raph because him being my favourite. But the artwork is insane. So this will be so good. a wall hanger. I'm going to put it up in my Turtles collection, up in my office. Um, and find somewhere to stick this awesome Santa Cruz slash Turtles Fist sticker. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys, and I'll probably stick a picture on Instagram later showing off again. <laughs> so yeah. I've been banging on about that for weeks. I have. They, I didn't know they were going to bring them out in the UK, because they're usually sort of a big thing in America, and last time they brought out a crossover, they were really, really hard to get. Uh, to get. Not the Turtles ones, the Mars Attacks ones that they did recently. Uh, which was a Santa Cruz crossover. Yeah. And you had to buy those as blind bags, so you didn't even know what you were getting. But within the run, there was, I think, 500 done by artists. So they were one-off specials, and you just mm. bought They came in a luminous green bag, uh, and they were sort of 100 quid easy a pop, and you didn't even know which one you were going to get. So it's for me to be able to about. pick up one of these... Oh, yeah. Me to pick up one of these, I'm so happy about it. But it does kind of make me want the other. <laughs> I don't think I can afford those. No. No. But... Thank you for tuning in again. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to do so. Hit the bell, hit the like, because it shows us the love and we can pass on more love to you guys. Absolutely. We've got some more videos um, coming up very, very soon. Yeah. And if you haven't already, please check us out on our social media, on Instagram, at Bugsy's Toy Box. And on Facebook, at Bugsy's Toy Box. And until next time, guys. Keep it unpunched.